GrabCAD Print now allows 3MF files to be imported from industry standard CAD tools like SOLIDWORKS. This tutorial will teach you how to create a 3MF file and import it into GrabCAD Print. This tutorial also applies to GrabCAD Print version 1.41 and above. Now what we need to do is to switch over to SOLIDWORKS so that we can create a 3MF part. Now you can create any part you wish in SOLIDWORKS, but what matters is how you save your created part. Like any file that you create in SOLIDWORKS, you first need to go to File, and then click on Save As. Once you're there, you can then scroll to select 3D Manufacturing Format .3MF. Once that's done, before actually clicking the Save button, you need to click on the Option button that's below Description. This button, once clicked, will take you to the system options for STL, 3MF, and AMF. There are a number of different options here on the screen, but what's most important are the checkboxes down below. It's important to have all of those boxes enabled so that all important information that you put into your part in the first place can be truly exported. This includes information like color, texture, transparency, and material selection for short. Once you do that, all you need to do is press OK, and then you can save your part. With that, now you have a 3MF part that you can move on over to GrabCAD Print. Now simply add this model like any other part. And if you look at my models here, I save this part as multiple files, not just 3MF. I have a step, STL, and even a SOLIDWORKS part down here. The most notable point to look at are the file sizes. A 3MF file has 33 kilobytes, the STEP file is 102, the STL is 52, and the SOLIDWORKS part has 140, making the 3MF part the most compact file and space-friendly file. And if we open it, we can see that all the information we wanted to keep is still there in this compact little file that GrabCAD Print now accepts.